Hi guys, welcome back to now it's Earth to Rosita. Um, so it's it's been a it's been a couple of months since I uploaded anything to this channel. Um, and I have to let you guys know that I have actually started a new channel uh, that is a daily vlog channel. So I'll link that somewhere on the screen. Um, and yeah, so please go subscribe to that one if you wanted to check out like daily vlogs, me talking about literally anything. Um, it's a fresh new little thing so I really want to get it going. So cross on over to that that channel and subscribe. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm going to talk about today but I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to go with it. Whatever I feel I want to. Um, there's a couple of things that have been on my mind actually that I wanted to come back on this channel for and honestly like I think that um, a couple of things triggered me today so I don't know if I want to talk about my thoughts on YouTube and how it's kind of in a way uh, brainwashing just like you know anything else just like even the television and stuff um, so if you wanted to hear my thoughts on that and how I think that works then leave me a comment but I think that I feel more inclined to talk about 24-hour positivity mentality and uh, the flaws I see in that kind of attitude. So, as many of you guys know, I'm a Scorpio, so the dark side is kind of like, uh, kind of natural to us, I suppose. <laughs> I'm literally... I'm literally wearing all black right now and I find that hilarious <laughs> um, even like sometimes when I decide to color my hair crazy colors I always want to come back to the black because I think that black just suits me so well it's kind of like my soul <laughs> I guess so I've been kind of like really delving deeply into my spiritual practice for the last couple of years and there's not many people that are spiritual around me I mean my best friend is spiritual but um, other than her I don't really have anyone anybody to talk to about this, anything like that spiritual so you know, like I I went onto Twitter and I found people who are kind of on that path. Um, and something that a lot of them say that kind of really something that a lot of them say that kind of really like bothers me, I suppose, is just like this this mentality that they have that you always have to be positive um, and I guess somebody that has gone through so much trauma and I've had many dark days and stuff um, I find that kind of mentality like really flawed and kind of almost toxic in a way I find it toxic in the sense that it just kind of looks like repression to me. Repression in the sense that like you you can't avoid uh, sadness. You can't avoid negativity. It's uh, it's something that is like is so vital for uh, growth and like spiritual growth I think almost um, and 
that's mainly because of like the concept of yin and yang. The only time that, like, the only time being negative is a bad thing is that when it rules over your whole entire life and there's no um, positivity left. Um, and I don't, I'm not advocating for that kind of attitude at all. I'm not saying, oh, you have to be only one or the other. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I suppose that's literally all that I'm trying to say is that you need to find the balance, a healthy balance of both. You need to, uh, you need to understand the duality of it. You need to understand and embrace the duality of yin and yang and where you need to be positive and where you need to be negative there are times when you need to go through being sad uh, and bad vibes only like good vibes only <laughs> bad vibes only good vibes only is it just sounds nuts to me <laughs> How could you how could you want to have good vibes only like it it just it's not an a realistic way of the world and it's not realistic because there is still a lot of negativity in the world and I feel like people don't know when to stop with that mentality I feel like people that have like good vibes only like good vibes only mentality they're avoiding they're avoiding something that they, they're avoiding things that they need to work on or they're avoiding the harsh realities of the world or both it could that's the worst part about it it could essentially be both um, you you can't uh, I just think I just think that you can't uh, reach a truly purely happy state until you have overcome the dark, and then you get better at you start to get when when you overcome your trauma, your darkness. Uh, that is when I think it's valid to say that you. You can, like, when you, I, I don't know how to explain this, so, like, I think that whenever you come to terms with, like, overcome the trauma of your past and everything that you've gone through, and you kind of, like, learn to dance with the dark side as well as the light side that is when you've truly become healthy in your spiritual growth not when you haven't gone through the the work that you need to do for your spiritual growth and you just you just expect yourself to be automatically happy without having done the spiritual work that you needed to do. I hope that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, then I, I don't know what else I can say. Um, but I don't agree with good vibes only. I don't agree with, like, uh, keep your negative shit away from me. I think that to to get on board with that kind of mentality you'd have to really like shut out a big part of the world and the suffering of the world and that level of ignorance because it is ignorance is not going to do anything good for the world um, and this happens like in all kinds of people people that um, don't like you judging other people, people that, uh, like for instance, vegans, 
I mean ex-vegans that uh, people don't like being called like for instance an ex-vegan that went back to eating flesh and other things that come from animals <laughs> uh, they say ridiculous things like um, keep your negative shit away from me and stuff like that I'm like sometimes people need to be called out in that way sometimes people deserve it especially when they're doing it to like profit off of animal exploitation like I mean what I mean by that is is these people get on to YouTube and uh, they're just profiting off of veganism without really understanding what it entails and you know what I'm gonna release another video today talking about YouTube and how it's brainwashing us just as just as much as like Sky News or something okay so that's all for this video subscribe to my other channel um, if you want to see daily vlogs and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!